Hello, I'm Bobby Lennox and I have a farm near Loch Lomond where I grow lambs to sell as food. My wife Anne and I look after our animals so that we grow better meat for you. My sheep and lambs eat a lot of grass. Ewes are pregnant for about five months and the lambs, sometimes twins, are born in the spring. The lambs drink their mother's milk and eat grass all summer. By August-September time, lambs that have been weaned, in other words they don't need their mother's milk anymore, eat grass until October or November. But sometimes there isn't enough grass from December because it's too cold for it to grow, so the farmer helps all these lambs to find food and brings them hay and conserved grass called silage. Most farmers who have upland or hill farms have to sell their lambs to low ground farmers because there isn't enough grass to feed and grow the lambs properly. The grass stops growing much earlier on the hills as it is colder. These lambs are called store lambs, but we rent grass fields from October to December on low ground farms for our lambs to eat the grass there, and then we bring the lambs home in January. Most lambs live outside all the time, sleeping and eating there. My animals need to be looked after very carefully because they can get sick, just like people. Pneumonia and tetanus type infections can kill lambs and I prevent this from happening by giving them a vaccination. This is just like when you have injections to prevent you from getting illnesses. Sheep and lambs also can get sore feet, which is called foot rot, and it can make them lame. The farmer treats this by giving the sheep and lambs a special foot bath that kills the bacteria. And did you know that sometimes sheep have to have their feet trimmed? It's just like you when you get your toenails cut. Nearly all the lamb producers in Scotland, including myself and Anne, are in the Quality Meat Scotland Farm Assurance Scheme, that's QMS for short. This scheme sets out strict rules that farmers have to follow, just like you have to follow rules at school. There are assessors who go around each farm at least once every year to make sure that the farmers are following the rules. Sometimes an inspector from the Scottish Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals comes with them. Looking after lambs and sheep is quite different from looking after cattle. Some of the rules are the same, but others are different. The law is that each lamb on every farm in Scotland is tagged in the left ear any time before it leaves the farm. If I sell a lamb to another farmer, he puts his farm tag on the lamb's right ear. And if the lamb has any other owners, they also put their tag in the lamb's right ear. So if you want to know where a lamb has been during its life, you just have to look at the tag numbers and you can tell which farm it has been on. It's just like a name and address label. When they are sold, the lambs go to the abattoir where they are stunned unconscious before being killed and then prepared for sale to butchers and supermarkets. A vet is always at the abattoir to make sure the lambs are calm and suffer no pain. The butcher or supermarket buys our lamb from the abattoir and then you buy it from them to make into tasty meals. To be called Scotch lamb, animals must be born, reared for all their lives in Scotland on an approved farm and slaughtered in Scotland in an approved meat plant.